Welcome to our YouTube video series on employment law. My name is Christopher Newfeld of Newfeld Legal. And in this particular video, we're going to be discussing employees who are under some form of statutory employment leave and were adversely impacted by the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. And what am I talking about adversely impacted? I'm talking about having lost their job, being terminated, being fired in the midst of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. And these statutory leaves can include maternity and paternal leave, compassionate care leave, death or disappearance of a child leave, critical illness of a child leave, long-term illness and injury leave, reservist leave. Now, depending on where you live, there are laws that exist to provide that form of leave and to protect your employment with respect to your being on leave. And unfortunately, in the midst of the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic, employers took certain actions with oftentimes not necessarily understanding the law properly and therefore terminating or firing people who were under statutory leave. And depending upon where you live, there could very well be issues that go beyond the normal scenario should you have been under statutory leave, returning from statutory leave during the pandemic, and then being terminated. And you have to analyze those specific employment rules. It starts off in times in some jurisdictions with employment standards laws that are created by statute. And they talk about this very specific issues. Oftentimes, these laws were created long before the pandemic arose. And people are not fully aware of their impact. And what happens is employers are so quickly looking to shore up their financial numbers that they make arbitrary decisions based on finances and not the law with respect to how they proceed. And this can result in very serious issues, in particular in certain jurisdictions where the business that the individual was employed at has been suspended. And depending upon the timing, when the person returned from leave, when they ended leave, they could have further statutory protections that are in place and protect them from being terminated. But if they are terminated, that presents a whole new set of problems. And simply getting termination pay, severance pay, may not be the end of the story because those individuals are extremely vulnerable. They feel the need to take the money that comes to them and this impacts them. It's a double whammy and they feel like they're at a point where they have little that they can do. And even if they go and take that money, they should stop and reconsider. They need to engage with legal counsel. They need to see what exactly are the specifics of their own scenario and how they fit in with prevailing law. Because the prevailing law, whether it's common law or it's statutory law, may set forth something further. And it may be that there is something more that needs to be done, corrective issues with respect to that termination that needs to be undertaken. But so much of it depends upon the law in the location that the individual is employed and getting the appropriate legal counsel so that the lawyers can clarify for you where the law is, where you stand, and what actions might be available to yourself. Because where you've been terminated after having just come off of a leave, statutory leave situation, such as maternity leave, 
and then the business that you come back to has been suspended, there is the possibility that simply getting base termination and severance pay is not going to be sufficient. And as such, as I have to emphasize again, it is important to get legal counsel that is knowledgeable with the laws of your jurisdiction and understands it can properly explain to you where you stand because the law is designed to especially protect this most vulnerable class of persons who are on leave and lose their employment. There are protections out there that are overlooked and you need to have them addressed. So address them and be better for it. Thank you.